Hey everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. It says the distance it takes to stop a car varies directly as the square of the speed of the car. If it takes 112 feet for a car traveling at 40 miles an hour to stop, what distance is required for a speed of 49 miles per hour? And, and just taking a look at this, um, before I even get into the numbers, if you're going 40 miles an hour and it takes you 112 feet to stop, if you're going to go a little bit faster, I would imagine it's going to take a little bit longer to stop or a little bit larger of a distance. And you can see all of these answers are greater than 112 feet. All right, but the key phrase to take away from here is this varies directly. So once we see varies directly, that lets us set up our variation equation. So I can say distance, it's equal to some constant proportionality times the, if we look at it, it says square of the speed. Now I'm using multiplication here, let me highlight, I'm using multiplication here because of the phrase directly. And I just wanna give you a for instance, if this had instead, instead, excuse me, said varies inversely, then I would have done K over S squared. That would have been my equation. So those are basically the two types of variations we look at this uh, in this course. So we've got direct and inverse, but this was direct, so I'm gonna erase that work. And then once you set up your basic variation equation, you need to plug in the complete ordered pair to solve for k. And if I talk about the complete ordered pair, it says when you were going 40 miles an hour, it took you 112 feet to stop. I'm gonna plug that set of information in. So I know that it took me 112 feet to stop when I was going 40 miles an hour. This allows me to solve for k. When I play this out on my calculator, I'm gonna get k is 0.07. So that allows me to say that my specific variation equation is 0.07 times s squared. And then the rest of this problem is they either gave you a D value, and let me use my highlighter so you can see what I'm referencing. They either gave you a D value or a distance value and they're asking you to talk about, to find the speed, or they gave you a speed value and you're asked to calculate the distance. And you can see in the question it says what distance is required for a speed of 49 miles per hour. So I'm gonna take that 49 and I'm gonna plug it in here. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be equal to 0.07 times 49 squared. And when I crunch that number, I'm gonna get 168.07. And then the units on this are feet because we're talking about distance. And that's answer B. All right, thanks.